Halloween. What up, everyone? Happy early Halloween. And for Mutant XP, I am your favorite Third Strike furry, Foxy XP. I am your host for tonight's Jazzy Fight Night. And so, since I've taken over the stream tonight, we have a new emote here for uh, you uh, subscribers. Uh, let me see if I can get it right. It's a mutant one two fox. No, that's not it. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> is it this? No, no. We're gonna. Yeah, have it to... is. It's mutant one two fox. I think. Yeah, yeah. One, one two fox. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Why... Oh, there it is. I don't know why it's not showing up in the Twitch chat. That's kind of weird. But yeah, it's mutant one two fox for you. Uh... It might be case sensitive. You got to do. Oh uh, yeah, it might be. It might be case sensitive. It might be. But uh. You know, I, this isn't my first rodeo, AC Slayer. I know you very well. I think we've played on Fightcade before in the first Fightcade. We have. And so it's good to see you. Absolutely. Good to see you. Uh, get, get, yeah, get to see you uh, Yeah, dressed for the occasion, I guess. De definitely, definitely. <laughs> and so on the pre-show today, we got, of course, AC Slayer. And we got Mash Legs from Wisconsin. Even, how's it going, man? Good. I just want to make it known that I did not know this was happening with the, the mask, so I'm not any part of this. What, what mask? I don't know what you're talking about. What, what, what mask are you talking about? Yeah, that's, that's right. You, that's right. Mutant's missing. And yes, is it yeah, Foxy yeah. Foxy Mutant is what it's we're going Foxy with? Foxy XP. It's Foxy, Foxy XP. XP. Okay. okay. I, I'll just say I, I really name. like that tie. Okay. I, I, love, I love the tie. Like the tie? Like the tie? Yeah. 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 The tie's good. The tie's good. So anyway, enough about me. So, you know, when Mutant XP told me about Jazzy Fight Night, I told him, hey, man, I got to get on that show. It sounds really hype. And so here I am. And, 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 to, make, and to make things even better, right, we got so many sick-ass matches tonight, right? And so let's go ahead and just run down this card real quickly. And so let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We got... And so from PS4, we got Chulak versus Kyosuke, Hugo versus Ibuki. So um, these two players actually uh, ran a, a set uh, not too long ago on Vankabot stream. So this is sort of the run back, uh, if you will. And so, uh, you know, I don't know how much uh, you know about either of these players, Ethan or uh, uh, AC Slayer. But uh, I am admittedly a big fan of Vankabot. I, I am a I am a frequent watcher of Vanka Bot. So exclamation mark Vanka. Twitch.tv slash Vanka Bot. Please be sure to follow him. And so Kulak and Kills K are um we would say uh beginner players, yet they show a tremendous promise. And so I'm really excited to see kind of, you know, who takes the next step here. And so Ethan, is there anything you wanted to say about this matchup, Hugo versus Ibuki? Well, so I know Kiyosuke in real life. Um, we met at Frosty, and I actually played him the other day. Um, I know he started off Dudley and has kind of been going really hard on, on this new character, Ibuki. Um, as far as the matchup goes, I don't know too much about this specific matchup because it's, it's kind of an odd one. But, uh, you know, she doesn't have much life, so Hugo can, can delete her for sure. But she also has a lot of tools to keep him on, so... I don't know. I, guess, I mean, it's it's it'll be a cool match for sure. Yeah. So AC, what do you what do you think about this matchup, Ibuki versus Hugo? Like, oh, dude, uh, definitely Ibuki's favored. Yeah. Um, her mobility, mm -hmm. her ability to hit in the air multiple times makes it like very hard for Hugo to easily parry those um, mm -hmm. the, the air hits. Um, also, um, yeah, you guys said his name is Kiosuke. I, I always thought it was Kiosk, like kind of like a play on on the word Kiosk. But um, oh. anyway, I, I did play uh, uh, Kiyosuke, um on Fight Game, I think just two days ago. Um, yeah, so um, I, I'm glad that, uh, that that he's here, and I'm not too sure about Chulak, but I think it's going to come down to um, who has better defense, uh, who can play mm -hmm. more solid. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like Mash, like said, you know, uh, Buki's what got uh, what the third uh, tied tied for. Actually, no, um, the the fourth. Uh, least stamina in the game so mm -hmm. yeah she's like right behind the twins right yeah, yeah yeah it goes akuma the twins and then buki right so yeah and um yeah so i honestly don't know how it's gonna go um i'm gonna mm -hmm. say ibuki has the advantage though yeah so what's your picks guys before we move on to the next set what's your pick ethan 
What's your score? What's your sure. prediction? He's, he's my guy, and I, I agree that it does seem like he's kind of the favorite in this matchup, character-wise. Um, okay. I don't again, I don't know too much about this Hugo player, but I gotta gotta rep the Midwest with Kioske. All right. So what's the, what's what's your prediction? The score? What do you oh, think? The score? Oh yeah. man. I mean, that's hard to say for me. I'm just gonna say we'll go with ten six Kioske. All right. What about you, AC Slayer? Just yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. I'll say uh ten seven Chulak. Ten seven Chulak. Yeah. You think you think Chulak will will beat? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the next. Okay. Already. Already. We're getting we're getting saucy here. So an uh a match from an, uh one, the first of our three fight game matches. We got Joe Strikes from Houston taking on Skelly from Florida. Uh, two players that are not necessarily new to third strike, uh, you know, somewhat uh, experienced in the tournament scene. And so, uh, Ethan, Yang, Chun, you started out as a Chun main. I did, right? yeah. And so, in, in the short time that you were, you were you're learning Chun, what are some of the things that you picked up on Chun, Yang, that so- uh, number one, obviously, I think I think it's not the worst matchup for her. Like she can uh-huh. be pretty hard. Um, the one nice thing that that Yang has is that he can jump in on her a little bit more free than other characters. Like he can just dive kick her to death, and obviously she can parry. But you know, she's a little weak in the anti air department, and she can't convert it into too much damage. So if he can take advantage of that, I mean that that can go a long way. But yeah, I would say Chun is the the favorite for sure. Mm-hmm. What about you, AC Slayer? Yeah, about I mean, this like, matchup? you know, I'm I'm not too sure about that. You know, I feel like I'm on the other side of the camp. I kind of feel like Chun is pretty good against dive kick. I think in general, it's hard to time dive kicks to make him safe. But you know, Yang might have different properties than Yun. But what I can say is that uh, what I w- what I would like to see is the uh, mix up after Zen Potential uh, mm-hmm. uh, with the um, close standing medium kick into uh, Super Jump Roundhouse, and then you can kind of like you know do a little mix up here, you know shimmy, and then you might land up on the other side, and then you can or you can follow up with another uh, Zenpo. I like I like those mix up a lot. Um, and mm. another thing about uh, Yun versus Chun, I kind of feel like this is a it's going to be a tough match for for for, for Gang. Sorry, uh, not Yun Yang. Uh, but I feel like Yang can kind of approach uh, safer, you know, than a lot of other characters, you know, against Chun Li. So um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. I think it's gonna come down to who's the better player, not necessarily the uh, the, the matchup. All right. So predictions, Mash Legs. What do you think, Joe Strikes versus Skelly? What do you got? Uh, again, I I think I agree that it, it could really go either way. I'll go uh, I'll go Joe Strikes, and I'll say he'll win. It'll be close though. He'll win like ten eight. And eight Joe strikes. Okay. AC right. Slayer. All oh, right. no, KD Alpha's here. Okay, let's go. AC Slayer. <laughs> okay, real, go real, real fast. Who's the Chun-Li? Is it Joe Strikes? Joe, Joe Strikes. Well, you know, Joe, well, remember, it's not character lock, everyone. So they can, you know, they're oh, free they can to use switch whatever character Okay, yeah, want. I'm going to also say, yeah, Joe Strikes, let's go uh, 10-5. 5 KD, do I dare even ask you your prediction of this matchup? Well, who are we talking about? Joe Strikes for wait, who's his opponent again? Joe Strikes versus Skelly. Skelly? I got Skelly 10 1. 10 1? Yeah. 10 1? Yeah. The disrespect. I gave him a game. He's not a third strike player. I gave him a game. 10 1. Okay, okay. Well, Chat welcome, KD Alpha. Welcome. At uh, exclamation mark, KD. Please follow this man. And so, KD, welcome to the Jazzy Fight Night 6. Pre-show, we meet again. Been a long time, Katie. Alpha. It's uh, it's been at least thirty days. <laughs> it's been thirty days. <laughs> yes, thirty days. And so, let's go ahead and uh, talk about uh, the third match that we have on the card. And so, again, from Fight Kate, we got Fody, your boy, Ethan, oh, Scrub Series go. co-founder, Scrub versus series. one of the Jersey Boys, Zork. From the next level, new gen, third strike players, guys. I'm 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 legit pretty hyped for this 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 match. I'm pretty hyped. So so so, Katie. Let, let's start with you. What I can't I can't be unbiased. I can't. It's Fody. I have to go with Fody. Okay. It's just okay. it's just Fody. It's just Fody. All right. I get it. I got it. I got it. All right. All right. Even I mean I don't even I mean. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you say. 
but but like like just imagine that you're just like 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 you're not even friends with Floaty, right? Just imagine that, you're like somebody sure. else, you know? Yeah, I think I think the matchup favors Chen Li, although not a lot. I think it's uh-huh. you know not that far from even probably like six four, but that's just my opinion. But um, also, I think I think we prepared pretty well for it. I mean, we've been kind of you know uh, theory crafting and doing some. Uh, some little bits of preparation. So I feel pretty good about Adrian. I think I think he's got a good shot. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. AC Slayer, Sean Dudley. I mean, this is a matchup that that's that you know, I, I don't know about you, yeah, AC, but you know, we've been playing the game for a really long time. Yeah. But there's just those certain matchups, right? That are like really, really interesting to kind of really do like a deep deep dive in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And one of those matchups is Chun Dudley. Like to yeah. me, like that's like in terms of like the history of Third Strike, yeah. like that matchup's really, really interesting. It is. It, it's extremely hard for Dudley to get in. Um, you can't really uh-huh. freely jump in. So Dudley kind of has to take advantage of uh, his crouching roundhouse sweep, uh, which is safe mm-hmm. on block. Uh, can be parried though, but it's a it's a very good tool against Chun. Um, mm-hmm. something else that you're gonna see from some Japanese does like they'll actually jump in constantly and then uh, yeah. they'll land low short. <laughs> super you know I, I like seeing that a lot too but yeah i mean i i honestly think like um i don't use dudley but i kind of feel like whenever i do like dabble with him a little bit i can't like it's hard for me to fathom how to approach Chunley properly so um yeah i think i think it's going to be a, a tough matchup for the dudley player mm-hmm. no matter what you know one of the things i'm always interested in when i see the dudley Chunley matchup is is what the dudley does at the beginning of the round like the beginning of the game Mm-hmm. Right, like, like, what is the Dudley going to do? Like, what, what, what is is he is he going to be aggressive? Right, is he going to take advantage of you know the time that Chun doesn't have meter, or is he going to you know play the measured game, like, like, or is he going to try and be a little more defensive? You know, like, I'm always interested in like trying to see what the Dudley's going to do at the beginning of a game. You know, because it kind of sets the tone. You know what I mean? Yeah, AC definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. I, I feel like uh, the popular like approach um would be to try to pressure Chun-Li before she gets you know SA2 meter um and you're able to uh maybe get more damage in uh uh-huh. but yeah later on you're gonna have to be playing that uh more cautious zoning game so yeah no no I, I, good points absolutely yeah. and but but the rub though AC and maybe KD you could talk a little bit more about this but the rub is right to, th- there's a cost at being aggressive because you like your offense has to be like elite mm-hmm Right, like you can't just jump in with Mickey Mouse shit. You know what I mean? Like you just get, like like you like what you come with has got to be like, like your offensive game needs to be like on on another level to really go into a good chun, right, Katie? Well, yeah, because Dudley's limited in how he can approach, right? Like yeah. chun chun's buttons on the ground by far outclass anything Dudley can do on the ground. Um, so he's forced to jump, and because he's forced to jump, uh, you know he's kind of at chun's mercy. Once he's in the air, she can walk under, she can anti-air, she can uh, trip guard, she can parry, uh, she can do a, a bunch of things that make it difficult for your Dudley to jump in and really get his offense going. Um, but uh, on the plus side, you know, because she doesn't really have anything like a Shoryu or anything, she's in a complete, you know, vulnerable state once you do jump in on her. Once, either, if, you know, either if you hit or, or she blocks it, you know, after that, if you have meter, it's 50-50 time, and that's basically Dudley's whole game. Yeah. Yeah, like, how often do I see sometimes the Dudleys, they'll land, like, the full jump-in combo, like, the meterless jump-in combo. That's so much damage. Like, like this damage, stun, and, like, a few moves away from 50-50, right? Mm-hmm. And corner so carry, like, if, if, if and you corner end it, carry. Right? Oh, yeah, you're, you're definitely in the corner, like, especially if, if it's done in the beginning of the round, yeah. Mm-hmm. So then mash legs, it, then, then I guess it's about kind of nerves, right? Like, just try, just hoping the chun fucks up. Yeah, like hoping the chun cracks. There's a lot of layers of it, and I don't want to give away any of our specific strategy. But I mean, we uh-huh. I'll say we discuss what you do at the beginning of the round for like an hour today. I mean, just uh-huh. just talking about the match, and it is yeah. really interesting. I do think there's a lot of different approaches that are viable. Um, and I think it, actually, I think Chun kind of sets the pace of the match too, because you have to know uh-huh. like what is this person capable of? How do they deal with you jumping exactly. in? How do they deal with you walking in? Um, mm-hmm. Are they aggressive? Because sometimes Chun is willing to just go in on Dudley. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of layers to it. All right, all right. Well, all right, let's go. Roundtable predictions. Ethan? 
I have I have Fody, and I feel I feel really good about our preparation. Uh, again, I mean, I don't I don't know too much about his opponent, but I have Fody ten five. I'm pretty confident. Ten five. I like that. Ooh, okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Katie. Well, just hearing how confident Ethan is, I hope Fody's is confident. Um, I I can tell you I know absolutely zero of Zork's game, but I think. I'm going to have a, ca- a caveat right here in my in my prediction. If Zork can actually hit confirm, then 10-7 Fody. But if Zork cannot hit confirm, then 10-4 Fody. That's a- you, you like the Max Kellerman of Thirst right now. I just, you know, I got to throw, to I gotta throw the caveat in there. <laughs> if you can't hit predictions great. based on different dimensions, right? Yes. You see, like- yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay um all right i'll, I'll do uh 10-8 fody 10-8 fody, Just 10-8 fody. Yeah, okay all right all you right. can't lose you can't all lose right. <laughs> you're not allowed to lose everyone vote everyone bet on prove me. us all wrong so our fourth and final match ac slayer this is a match that you set up for this month we got makoto baraboomba taking on yurian disparo is that how you pronounce it disparo yeah all yeah, right Despero. yeah Oof. So, AC, take us away. Take it away. Tell us a little bit about this matchup. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I mean, Baraboomba is, a, I would say, like a very well-known uh, player in the community. Uh, like you mentioned, he does use Makoto, but he does have a couple of pocket characters like uh, Ken. I think he Ooh. dabbled with uh, Yang a little bit. But, yeah, mainly Makoto. And I think, like, in in the most recent past, uh during that fundraiser we did for Game Newton, uh, he kind of made a pretty big name for himself. I think he OCV'd uh, Cruz's team, actually. Mm-hmm. And that was uh, pretty impressive. That was pretty hype. Um, yeah, he so beat he... me. <laughs> oh, he did? I oh. think, right? He beat me in the, in, the, in, the, in the Game Newton tournament, too, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, but yeah, he had a really, really good tournament um, there. And yeah, he's just a very, very popular guy. There's a ton of memes um, of Bear Boomba, like shared on different servers. He's a really nice mm-hmm. guy. I've met Bear Boomba in person multiple times. Mm-hmm. Uh, f- uh, quick story, first time I met him, uh, uh, we were in Toronto, and uh, we met up for dim sum. And he like got the bill, like while he like, <laughs> while, uh, after we finished eating, he like got the bill like immediately. And then we went over nice to his place dude. and we played, uh, we played Third Strike, that was super fun. And then mm-hmm. um, he came, he drove two hours to visit me actually uh, a month later. And uh, he actually let me borrow a stick for a little bit. So yeah, uh, yo, uh, Bear Boom is a really, really, uh, really good guy. Um, and also uh, Diasparo, or Desparo, I'm not actually sure how you pronounce it, but he's from Florida. Um, and he's been playing for about five years. A mm-hmm. uh, really good Urian player. I actually think that he's, um, he's like basically on the cusp of getting really, really, really good. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. According to him, uh, he's actually never played on cab, So he's like born online. And... Um, but yeah, I actually think it's going to be very, very tight. Um, I, I have my, uh, I guess, uh, my own beliefs on who I think is going to win. But I mean, before I even go there, um, did you want to mention anything about any of the two players? Oh, oh me? Well, I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with Disparrow. You know, obviously, as we, as we mentioned before, right? Um, you know, Baraboomba did beat, I mean, beat, beat me at XP, not me. I mean, I'm Foxy XP, right? You know, Baraboomba didn't beat me, you know what I'm saying? So, so. But, so yeah, so uh, Baraboomba, I, 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 you know, I don't know if anyone caught the trailer for uh, the teaser for Jazz Fight Night 6, but uh, there's a clip in there of uh, Baraboomba's uh, uh, match with, with, with Cruz. Um, and so, like, AC, can you just, like, tell us a little bit about that, that, that match or that moment? Because that was, like, pretty godlike. Jesus Christ. I mean, um, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm prepared, but, like, okay, so, um, basically, they were the underdog team. I mean, Cruz is a, um, I mean, he's a wrecking ball, right? Like, everybody knows how good Cruz is. And who was on Cruz's team? It was, like, Shotokan, mm-hmm. Cruz, um, and one other player that was pretty good. I forgot I forgot who the third person was. I think it was um, Lovely Kittens. Um, I, I, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I just don't remember. <laughs> but uh, but basically, uh, Baraboomba had to, you know, carry the team on his back. I think he was the last person available. And he just uh, reverse OCV'd the entire team and uh, surprised everybody, beating Shotokan, beating Cruz. And, yeah, I mean... You know, Bear Boom is kind of known as, let me talk about play styles real fast. He's known as kind of like more of a wild, you know, like 
YOLO sort of uh, character, but every one of his decisions uh, worked out for him and uh, in, in that set. So yeah, well, it's, it was extremely hype, and they were able to essentially continue, knock that other team to losers. So um, I'm not sure if I did it justice, but uh, <laughs> you had to be there, basically. Well, you know, AC, when I was watching, because it was pretty easy for me to pick the highlight, right? It was going to be somewhere in that, in that set, right? Yeah. So, like, as I was watching it, like, the, the, the sick thing about that set is, like, when Boomba went in for his offense in his 50-50s, zero hesitation, yeah. right? Zero hesitation. <laughs> just, 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 just do the option. If it don't work... Oh, well, fuck it. We'll just try another one next, right? Yeah, his confidence level was like 9,000. But that's how the character's built, though. Wouldn't you agree, AC Slayer? That's how she's meant to be played? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know? He believed. I mean, that's the scary Makoto, right? That just cycles through the options as if she were like some cyborg. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, every single time he uh, he decided to to do Hayate or Kroxa, oh. it, it was the right move. Every time, yeah, it's just, it's so, just, yeah. yeah. So, so, so we'll see. You know, and then, uh, you know, you know, Despairal plays a pretty solid uh, Urian. I would say uh, he plays a more measured game. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if that actually works against him against uh, Barabuba. Definitely, definitely. So, Katie, um, what do you think about this match, Urian, Makoto, Barabuba? Uh, well, um. I, I actually don't know very much about either player. Uh, I, I'm I'm vaguely familiar with uh, Baraboomba, um, but I actually don't know anything about Disparal. But I will say uh, the matchup in general is kind of rough for Urian. Um, Makoto can control space and control tempo a lot better than Urian can. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know most Urian players hate that matchup. Mm-hmm. Um, given, you know, the way that... Uh, you know, AC was describing Baraboomba's style and the environment in which they're playing in. I would think Baraboomba has a pretty good advantage. Um, but if the Urian can, you know, effectively keep Makoto out and build meter while he's doing it, uh, you know, it's doable. It's uh, probably not enjoyable, but it's, it's it's definitely doable. So uh, we'll have to see, you know, what what the defense looks like for uh, Disparal. Mm-hmm. Mash legs, you're, you're a Urian main now after uh, beginning with Chun. What do you think about this matchup here? So I I hate this matchup from the Urian side. I don't think it's nearly as bad as like the true nightmare matchups like Ibuki and Akuma and stuff like that. But uh-huh. I do think she, I agree totally with KD. I think she dictates the pace of the match. It's really hard to stay on the ground against her because she can just grab you and just totally fuck with you. And it's really hard to do anything about it. And you also often have to parry multiple things to really get anything going. And you don't really get good rewards on parrying stuff. It's just, it's really, really hard. You can jump around a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. That has some, you know, utility to it. But yeah, I agree. I think she's, I think she's a really tough character to fight. Um, I think Baraboomba is also a really, really good Makoto player. I don't know as much about Despero. I'm in a, a Discord with him. But yeah, I would say he's got to really just, you know, be reactive and be patient. Because it's, it's going to be really hard. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get our predictions going here. AC Slayer, what do you think the score is going to be at the end of the set? Ooh, uh, I'd say 10-9, Baraboomba. Ooh, very close set. Okay, mm-hmm. hopefully that comes to fruition. Katie Alpha, what do you think? I'll go... I'll go 10-6, Baraboomba. All right, a little bit more confidence in Baraboomba. All right, Ethan... Well, uh, I think I just have to give some love to the, the Urian boys. So I'm going to go to Sparrow, and I'm going to go 10-8. 10-8. But I do think it's going to be hard. Mm-hmm. 10-8 Despero. Or 10-8 Baraboomba. Sorry, 10-8 Despero. 10-8 Despero. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. We have come to the end of the Jazzy Fight Night 6 pre-show. When we come back... We're going to go ahead and get started with Jazzy Fight Night 6. But before we uh, take a short break, just wanted to uh, give a shout out to everyone who has donated to tonight's Matcherino. Remember that you can donate by going to matcherino.com slash T slash JFN6. You could donate for free. Enter the code JFN6. 
and you can add 50 cents to the prize pool. You can also follow Twitter accounts, take surveys, and for every action that you do, for every uh, sponsor quest that you do, uh, a micro donation gets added to the pot. Of course, we take cold hard cash too. You know how Foxy XP rolls. And so right now we got $63.78. Again, shout outs to all the people who have donated so far. And so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And then when we come back, the start of Jazzy Fight Night 6. Don't go anywhere, guys.